Merry Christmas everybody. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I'm going to try to set this camera up so I can see if I'm in the frame. One of the things that I forgot to mention is my hat is uh, with my paracord hammock video is how to hang it up. How do you get a paracord hammock which will hold you know 500 pounds? How do you string it up so it, so it stays up with a 500 pound guy? One of this is what I made for the straps. This is a simple three three paracord weave. Three of them. Um, and about ten foot long. And three of them together is at least fifteen hundred pounds. So that hammock is not gonna fall because of this. Um, and I think there's a multiplier too when you wrap them up. But how do you make that? Well, I got three pieces here. And it's just a simple over and over, over and under, over whatever weave <laughs> where the sides, I'm going to keep it kind of untangled for a while, but the sides always go towards the middle like this side over side over side over side over side over you keep doing that and every once in a while you gotta straighten out your cords separate them so that doesn't get tangled up but that's the start of it now the way I started it before you start the weaving is you take the three ends and just drop take the three ends get them as close to the as possible and just tie them hmm. we have a guest dog here and that's her <laughs> but time off then you got the three to start weaving from over the outside outside in and get it going and straighten them out and tangle them and keep going outside in outside in and that's how you start it and then you end up with this once you get down to the end tie off the end like you did with the start I always burn the ends of the paracord just to keep the inside lines even Chloe what Jesus Chloe I can't believe you're a dog should be a ferret anyway <laughs> and You'll have a 10 foot line and you want to make a non-slip loop in one end, okay? And that's what's going to make it adjustable. And so let's go outside and I'll show you how to make adjustable hammock suspension. Thanks. Oh, uh, stay tuned. Alright, you can pick any size tree that you can get this around but try to go above a knot obviously or, or a limb just to keep it from slipping keep your loop close to the tree you're gonna go around it like that back this way back around the tree and this goes down to your hammock okay you loop this through your carabiner that's holding the hammock up it's attached to your clue this goes back through the loop that way you can adjust how long or how much space you have between the trees 
Okay, once that's there, just wrap it around, lock it in place, and the nut on the end of your paracord will keep it from slipping. So any tree, as long as the tree's strong enough to hold you up, and you have an adjustable suspension, okay? So again, the reason you put this loop in here is to try to keep your clue or everything as centered as possible on the tree. So you can go around like this and just wrap it like that and come around through the loop but there's some play there if you cinch it like this and go back around to your hammock it's not going to move as much okay it's going to grab right onto the tree again take your loose end go through your clue go back through the loop your hammock and you can adjust how far or how much space you got between two trees so that's the suspension system that I forgot to add or neglected to add but that's just mine there's a whole bunch of them out there but yeah the three weave paracord will make sure that you are not going to fall and that's one of the things I I worry about because if I'm going to have my family on there or my son I don't want it to break so just follow up for the paracord hammock series and I hope you guys get out there and make something thanks for the support and Merry Christmas Happy New Year bye guys for now